Hey guys, become your strength, release your limitless potential. It's an awesome day outside today. The sun is shining or it's starting to get a little bit cloudy right now, but it's really warm, it's awesome. Just go outside and meditate. Woo! <laughs> I get I get so pumped up when I when I'm outside in nature and I get to meditate. I often meditate outside. I love it because it just uh, you know, it just charges my batteries and I absolutely encourage you to do the same. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, this is not what I'm supposed to talk about in today's video. I'm actually going to talk about something that is a bit horrifying. I, I read this article on psychology today. There was this article written by a guy named uh, Robert L. Leahy. He's a prof professor in psychology. And uh, in this article, I can link it to you in the description below, so you can uh, read it for yourself. In the, in the article, the professor stated that the average high school students of today have the same levels of anxiety as psychiatric patients had in the 1950s. So, students that are, that are reckoned as healthy people in today's society, healthy, healthy, normal students have the same level of anxiety as psychiatric patients had for 50, no, five decades ago or six decades ago. That's insane. Why? I, I, and you, you may ask yourself, why are we struggling so much with anxiety in today's society? Why? Why is this happening? Why is this like the the normal? thing um, I think I think it has to do with our social connectedness Th this is at least what the article said there are a lot of speculations out there between these scientists and the professors and all the people who are d doing research on this but some of them say that it has to do with our social connectedness you know we aren't really that much social anymore why <laughs> It is because we are connected through the internet, you know. We are connected through a piece of technology. And this is not our natural way of being connected with other people. And in, in addition to chatting with each other on Facebook and on other social medias, we're also occupying ourselves all the time. There are many people that feel like they are uncomfortable when they are with themselves, when they have nothing to do, when there's just silence. But actually that's a very natural state of being in, you know. When I, there's, there's a reason why I go outside here and sit alone and meditate. It is because it is good for me. I feel like my my batteries kind of recharge, you know. But in our society today, a lot of people, I'm not saying that you are one of these people, but there are people out there that are addicted to keeping themselves occupied, you know. They always have to think, 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 think. Music, Facebook, blah, 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 all the time. And uh, you, to a certain degree, get addicted. Of course, this is just my idea. This is my personal idea. Step away from technology sometimes. Go out to nature. For example, meditate. Meditation is awesome and meditation becomes 10 times better if you, if you, if you don't do it at home. Go outside. Go, <laughs> if, you, if you're lucky enough to live at a place where you have nature right outside your door like, like I do, then use it. Go outside and listen to the birds tweeting, listen to the river floating. Um, it, it, it is something that our forefathers and our, you know, our, our ancestors lived with this for thousands and thousands and millions of years, you know. We aren't used to hearing cars driving. We aren't used to hearing the music that we're creating today. Of course, it's I, I love music. I love to listen to modern music. 
but I, th I, I think you need, again, you need this balance. You need to recharge yourself. You need to get into your natural state of being. And the best way of getting out there into this natural state of being is by by taking breaks, getting, go for walks in nature, meditate, calm your mind, um, exercising, absolutely so efficient for you. I've just started to, uh, to actually get going again with my exercise again because I had this uh, one year break from exercise personally and I, I really feel that I can really feel the difference between not exercising and actually exercising. Your mind, your body, your whole, your soul <laughs> is basically running in a much more smoother way. You feel more healthy in, in so many different ways. Um, so yeah, anxiety is a big problem for us. Students, high school students today have the same level levels of anxiety as psychiatric patients had six decades ago. It's insane. So go out there, do something about this problem, okay? I'm challenging you now. I'm going to put out a new video uh, later today. Uh, it's about meditation. I'm going to guide you a bit into how to do meditation. I'm going to give you some very quick and easy tips. Uh, because you know meditation is a very it's going to help you on your journey if you're into growing yourself of course if you're into growing your mind your body and your spirit then meditation will absolutely help you so check out that video later today um, anyways thanks for watching guys please like share and subscribe if you like this video or any of my other videos if you have any questions or requests then feel free to make a comment in the comments below and i'll answer you there of course um i also hope that this video got you one step closer towards finding your limitless potential i'll see you guys later bye